In this video, Kevin and I plan to discuss our favorites, things that we liked and disliked, uh, foods for the month of September. Uh, we've been doing this for two months now. This will be our third month and uh, this is really fun and it's fun for us to store things for the whole month and then pull things out at the end of the month and be like oh i'd forgotten all about that and we loved it and blah 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 so this is a fun video for us to do too and we hope you enjoy it um first of all i'm going to give you the dislikes because there are only three and two of them are the same brand <laughs> these godiva puddings were just terrible they were not any good at all. Uh, the white chocolate, uh, you could get away with, I guess, more so than the dark. They, they, they just, they were not, not good, good at all. It's just jello. Yeah, and there was, uh, there was a milk chocolate. Yeah, buy the jello pudding or the uh, Hunt's uh, snack pack. Is that what it is? Yeah. Uh, these just, the flavor just was not there at all, was it? No. It, what it, it there was there was good. Yeah, it was, it was a waste. So we did not like those. And we did not like this. The waffles. This, yeah, the pancakes and waffles, Halo Top. It was a complete waste of however much we spent on it all, say four or $5. It was absolutely horrible. I haven't heard anyone in comments say that they actually liked it. Uh, some people have gotten further down in the container than other people, but the result is the same. It has a horrible aftertaste. Either it starts out horrible or it has a horrible aftertaste after you've been eating it. For us, it was all of the above. It, it was bad, very bad, chemi bad. Chemically, it, I will be absolutely shocked if this makes it or that green tea mochi. Yeah. Uh, I will be shocked if either one of them make it uh, around. Because Which is funny because that mochi, mochi tea, we've heard... I've never heard of that before until Halo Talk came out of it, and I swear I've heard it in like five or six different shows since then. Now it's like popular. It's like, where did all this come from? And they really like it, so it must be something Halo Top's done with theirs. That and From the comments, I can tell that it's definitely that they've tried Halo Top. People that have tried the Halo Top, they're like, this is this nothing. This is not a good it's representation. Not what it, yeah, it's not what it's supposed yeah. to be. So, so just they did a bad job. Yeah, that. they did. So we're not, I'm not uh, turned off from it forever. I would try other things with it in there just that was awful uh, so those were the only things we didn't like everything else was a hit or I would not have kept it to show you uh, things we had a lot of other things that were just good that were really good but these were the best things so these dare cookies Mona sent us these dare cookies uh, from Michigan she mailed them these are the dare coconut cream they are delicious and in one of um, our other favorites videos I showed you this same brand they had pumpkin spice it's a good brand if you see the black box you should give it a try it's a Canadian brand really really good um, Mona also sent us some lint chocolates these were my favorite uh, out of the the truff the balls not out of the like she sent us some big um chocolate boxes uh which we have not even gotten into yet uh but this is out of the ones that we have tried these i love these they have the ghost they have a milk chocolate and white chocolate they're absolutely delicious um do you want me to give one more because i've Go got ahead. i've got a lot more favorites than kevin um and i think kevin had more favorites but kevin is not as good at, as I am at remembering to put things up. Um, Sarah sent us this uh, Nestle Kit Kat Chunky uh, cookie dough. This was so good. The chocolate in this, it, it just, it was different than the chocolate that on the normal Kit Kat bar. It was very mm -hmm. creamy, mm -hmm. smooth, delicious. And there's one more thing I have from Sarah while I'm talking about my Sarah. Sarah in California. And I like these a lot too. Yeah, we both enjoyed these. Mm -hmm. really uh, these are the Anastasia Confections Coconut Cashew Crunch in the original recipe. It's funny because these made it to another video except they had a chocolate drizzle. Mm -hmm. The only thing different with these is they're missing that chocolate drizzle. Either one 
It's fantastic. You just have to get them if you see mm. them. They're it's like so peanut butter without peanuts and then put coconut in it oh, instead. It's really, so really good. good. It's very so crunchy. Good. Okay. Uh, one of my favorites, and Tammy like these too, but it's the Popcornopolis, the Zebra uh, White Chocolate Pumpkin Spice. Uh, I think I ate this in like two settings. <laughs> I ate like half of it and uh, I just took the rest of it in there one night and put it in a bowl and just ate the rest of it. So really, really, really good. Um, really good pumpkin spice flavor. Super sweet. A good crunch to it, but it's not so hard where it hurts your mouth. It was just really, really good popcorn. In that video, we reviewed um, two other ones. We mm. had a white chocolate and then there was also... I'm wanting to say maybe dark and white. Anyway, I'm thinking when we did that initial video, I said that that was my favorite. And the pumpkin spice, the white chocolate pumpkin spice is still my favorite. However, I like those other ones just as much. Yeah, they, they're all good. They're so good. And I ate the other two. Kevin only ate that one. So he really has nothing to feel guilty about. I ate both of the other bags that we had. But I ate them in two settings. I um, half to the bag each time because you're supposed to get like four and a half servings in each bag i half the bag each time and so they lasted um twice they were it's just fantastic mm -hmm. though it's really good uh i'll give you another a favorite we had a bad halo top this is a great halo top uh this is the cinnamon roll and oh, good. i really really like this one because it has, uh, it is higher calorie. It's 360 calories for the pint. You know, some of them are like 280. So this is on the higher side of Halo Top, but it has little pieces of um, almost like a cookie dough, but they're like cinnamon roll cookie mm -hmm. dough. And so what I do, I'm really disgusting. And I sit there and I eat around all the cookie dough pieces and I scoop them all to the side. And then when I want to work on that side, I'll scoop them all over and then I'll... And so anyway, what I'm left with at the bottom of the container is this huge ball of all these little um, cookie dough pieces. And then I get like three spoonfuls of just the the the, um, weird. Uh, the cinnamon roll ball. They're weird. Love it. It's awesome. That's how I eat like a She's Ben weird. and Jerry's... She's weird in everything. Okay. If any of you all know exactly how I feel and you eat yours just like that, please let Mr. Kevin know that I'm not weird. You're weird. It gives you that big ball. I'd rather have just... them each as they go yeah. along. Mm -mm, not me. I love it that way. All right. Uh, this is a good one. Uh, Wickedly Prime, which is an Amazon. You have to order them through Amazon. The sweet and crunchy, the uh, sweet and cheesy popcorn mix is basically caramel corn and cheese popcorn mixed together. This is another Mona. Yeah, Mona it was very, very, very good. Um, the, what I really liked about it, not only did I like the flavor of the caramel and the cheese, but the popcorn itself, they were the big, huge, big, fluffy, not that big, but they were, um, yeah, they weren't the size of your hand, but they were the big puff of popcorn. They were really good and soft and puffy and crunchy but they were um there were no holes that i'm that i could tell at all i mean it's like how did they get rid of the holes because they they clearly had a skin on them at some point in time um i don't know i don't know how they could knock them off they, they did a good job whatever but and it's these really bags really were good full they were heavy yeah oh yeah the bag was probably up to the to three mm -hmm. fourths of the way full um yeah so really really good um really good popcorn some of the best ones i've had Okay, David sent us these from Scotland, and I loved these. Um, I'm the one that finished these. Uh, once we did the initial review of them, I loved them so much that it's like, those are mine. Uh, yeah, you liked them better than I did. Yes, I just, I thought they were absolute. These are the uh, Miss Tilly's Scottish tablets, and I just was absolutely crazy about them, and I was really good with them. They reminded me of some... Trader Joe's had some uh, pieces, some like some toffee pieces, and Sarah sent us those from California. And I was really good with these tablets like I was with those toffee pieces. They're just little bitty squares, but I would get one square and I would take it in the other room because honestly, that's all you need. These are so, so sweet. In incredibly sweet. But I was really good because I knew that these are from Scotland and I have to make them last because I won't be getting any more. 
They were, I loved them. Though. They kind of a burnt brown sugar, butter brown sugar kind of flavor. That's what they kind of remind me of. And then uh, Sinem sent us these from London, uh, London, England, not London, Kentucky. <laughs> um, these are Thornton's uh, mini chocolate fudge brownies. Kevin and I both really like good. these. Uh, they were delicious. She sent us three different flavors, but we really liked uh, these fudge brownies. Mm -hmm. They were good because they were kind of left a sugary, grainy texture. And then things that uh, you anybody can get around here, these are still out for the season, uh, but I'm crazy about them. We both like these. So they're not new. They're just something that, that I've been loving during the month of September uh, are the Little Debbie Pumpkin Spice Rolls. These they're they're huge they're they're a good size cake they have a lot of cream in them and uh they have a good pumpkin spice flavor mm, um, really good. delicious also seasonal are the intamins pumpkin donuts i don't think you can go wrong with these mm, the apples Apple cider Apple ones? cider. They're really good too. I like the apple cider ones better. Yeah, Kevin likes apple cider. I buy pumpkin, but I offer, you know, do you want us to get you some apple cider? And so far, you haven't had any this season. And I've been really, really good because I've only had this one box. Um, I go by them really slow in the store and I'll think, do I want them? Do I want them? Do I want them? No. So, <laughs> I'm doing really well with just having one box because they're so good. Um, okay, I have three and you have three. Okay. Okay. Um, one of my favorites is the Apple Pot Oreos, and I don't know how long these are going to be out. They're limited edition and they already be gone for all I know, but they are really, I love really those good. Too. Um, really good apple flavor, a good cinnamon flavor, just all around a really, really good flavor. Um, doesn't really ma remind you of a, the crust is more like a, gr a graham cracker crust, but it's still really, really good. Delicious. Yeah, I love excellent those cookies. too. Um, this is not new. It's like just your all -time one, it's one of my favorites. The Laughing Cow. This is the creamy, spicy pepper jack. Uh, these are the cheese wedges. Uh, they're uh, 35 calories each. Uh, I I just love this flavor. This is my favorite flavor. If you don't like spicy, you will not like them. But I love to put them on. I get eight Ritz crackers, and I get two of these, and it's about 200 calories. It's a good snack. Um, it's good low calorie. It's just a, a favorite in my life. And so. just like, you know, Tammy actually, we went and got every flavor they had, not all at one time, but just over a few weeks. And she tried, you literally tried every flavor every they came flavor. out with. And some of them were better than others. This was the one that stayed. Yeah, this, this, and I had never had this and, uh, until, until we moved into this house. And I had bought some because I wanted Kevin some. And Kevin bought some. I had never had cheese wedges. And I think it's interesting, just real quick, I don't want this video to go on forever, uh, but I think it's very interesting that in the United Kingdom, they have these for fewer calories. It's, it's still the Laughing Cow Cheese. It's still this brand. And they have it for, it's like a light version. Hmm. And I've never seen the light version mm -hmm. here. No? No. Okay, um, I'm going to save the, that one for last. But these are the bakery. Um, mint, Walmart. It's a Walmart yeah, and, brand. Andy's Mint Chip Cookies. Love these. I, I would just go through the kitchen and get one in the afternoon. So good. <laughs> They're very, very good. And what I like about them is not only did they have a good cookie flavor, like a chocolate chip cookie flavor, they, they had a very light mint flavor, mm -hmm. which was nice. Because some mint cookies are so strong. Well, they first of all, they like to make them in dark chocolate, so they're so bitter. That, that they're not enjoyable. And then they, the mint is so strong, it's like you can't really eat them. These were a good light mint within a regular cookie base, not a dark chocolate cookie base. So I absolutely loved them. They were really And they're really still good. out at Walmart in the bakery section. Yeah. Uh, you really need to try them. If I you think know. they actually sell Andy's chips back they in the They do, bakery. in the baking So aisle. you could make your own if you wanted to. Just make chocolate chip cookies, but uh, substitute like half the chocolate chips with these uh, with Andy's chips. You mm -hmm. make your own at home. You but they are really good. I like those because those don't they're be hard. Yeah, and they're yeah, that's true. And they're yeah. very convenient. You just go buy some. They're really good. Okay. Uh, these, I love these. I will never buy these again. <laughs> never. I won't. Because they're too good. Because they're so good. That's how good they are. These are the Sun Tree Snack Foods in the Snickerdoodle. We tried four different ones in the video. These are available in the produce department. Uh, there, which makes absolutely no sense. Uh, and P Priscilla was trying to explain it to me. She said, 
but there's a nut section in the produce department. I said, I always said, yes, but there's a nut section. Planters has, they have their own nut section. There's a whole peanut section where you can get the canisters and all that. Why wouldn't these be in that section? So in, they would, the they'd probably section. sell more of them. They would sell a lot more because they sell the mixes back there in that section. That's where you buy your Werther's caramel popcorn and all your popcorns mm -hmm. and your mixed popcorn um, anyway. These are so good. They are uh, cream-coated, cinnamon-crusted almond snacks. They were good. And they're so good that I will never be able to buy them again because you only get four for 160 calories. And what I realized was I would be getting them out and I would realize, oh, four is not nearly enough for 160 calories. Surely I should get five for my 160. So I would get another one and eat it right then. And then... I can't be doing stuff like that, so mm -hmm. it's just not good. All right, so the last one I have is the uh, is another Oreo. This is probably one of my favorite ones. I like this one too. It's the Jelly Donut Oreo, and I don't. These are limited edition as well. Um, oh yeah, where do they these, they sell these only they sell, at? No, they sell them at Walmart. Jelly Donut? Oh, oh it's the peanut butter and jelly. Peanut it's butter the and jelly was at Kroger. The Jelly Donut they sell everywhere. These are really, really, really good. These are these and the Apple. They're they're one of my top like three or four. Um, lemon is still one of like my top ones, but but these are excellent, excellent. If you get them uh, around you, you should try them out before they go away because they'll uh, they'll go away. Because like they, they have those in the cinnamon rolls. Um, you like the cinnamon rolls? Cinnamon good. buns. Cinnamon buns. They're both uh, kind of listed on the back. So so anyway, the, get those. They're really good. My last thing I have to show you, and I haven't finished it yet, but it's down to here. I'm almost finished. Uh, this is the Simple Truth Organic. Uh, peanut powder this is in the chocolate this is actually a Kroger brand and you all know if you've been following me that I am a huge fan of PB2 which is made by Bell Plantation I have been using that as my peanut butter for probably five five years now uh, if I had to guess and so when I tried this in the video I said I hadn't tried it yet on a sandwich. And I said, I don't know if I'll eat that all the time on a sandwich, if it'll be weird on a sandwich. To have, because this tastes truly like chocolate. It tastes like a chocolate spread. Like, like you know, you have a Nutella. This tastes like a chocolate spread. It does not taste to me like peanut butter in any way. It's chocolate. Once I tried it on my sandwich, I told Kevin, I'm, Never going I'm not buying any, I'm not going back. And I hate to say that to be uh, Bell Plantation because I love them. But this is so good that I'm buying this from now on. Uh, They've increased the chocolate. The flavor. chocolate, yes. the cho And I love, I'm a huge peanut butter fan. But if you're, if you're buying a powdered, uh, peanut butter, then you want to buy whatever tastes, whatever has the most flavor uh, for your calories. This has the most flavors, and it's all chocolate all the time. It's it's the same calories, 50 calories uh, for two tablespoons, and it makes the perfect amount for, for your sandwich. So, I love it. I will uh, continue to buy this. So, I hope you all enjoyed this. Um, it was a lot. I think it was all sweets. It is pretty much. It's yeah. pretty well, besides the laughing cow cheese and a little bit of popcorn and some popcorn, um, which was half and half sweet. <laughs> yeah, and I'm trying to to remind Kevin. You know, anytime he has a lunchtime review, if he likes that or if he really doesn't like something, try to remember to bring that home from work. It's kind of hard for him to remember to bring it home from work and save it for you all. Uh, so that he can show it. Uh, we'll try to remember to do that for you next time. But I really hope you all enjoyed this and we'll see you at the end of October.